Hello guys, welcome to Pia Sang Yo, your one-stop shop for K-pop and Asian dramas. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Let's get started. Revolutionary Sisters Episode 44 Part 2 Sanjay tells Pumjin that Mr. Kim has no daughters and he might be calling Ki Jin, son-in-law, as a joke. Pumjin tells him to look more into Mr. Kim. Gwangnam and Gwangshik visit Gwangte with macarons and some other food. Finally, this sorted out everything. Gwangnam asks Gwangte how Ki Jin treats her and Gwangshik tells her that he treats her well and now that she's pregnant, he might be treating her much better. Gwangnam tells her how her friends have been cheated on her when she was pregnant and tells her to be careful. As they leave, they spot Kijin and warns him not to cheat on their younger sister, which scares him. As he eats macaron, he gets continuous calls from Mr. Kim and he tells Kwang Te they are not important, which makes her a bit suspicious. Kijin meets Mr. Kim at a restaurant. He eats so much of meat, telling that doctor told him he need to have a balanced diet, so he is forcing himself to eat them. Kijin gets Cholsu's call and Mr. Kim tells him not to care for Cholsu and instead care about him because he is real and Cholsu is fake. He leaves telling Kijin to pay for the food. At night, Gwang Tae checks Kijin's phone and calls Mr. Kim. He takes the call and says, son-in-law, why did you call this late? She cuts the call and he calls her back. She again cuts the call and wonders, why is he calling Kijin as his son-in-law? Kijin gets a dream and which scares him out. She wakes him up and he wakes up with a shock and hugs her and tells her that he will protect her. Next day, Gwangte meets Sachi and asks about Mr. Kim and suspects if his daughter and Kijin. But Sachi tells her it's nothing related to a girl and that Mr. Kim has no daughter. Pumjin brings Dulre home and calls Kijin and Gwangte. He acts like a puppy and she smiles. Gwangte hears to this and tells Kijin to show how a puppy acts and Pumjin promises to practice hard and to be a better puppy. Dulre gives Gwangte to congratulate her on her pregnancy. Kijin gets Mr. Kim's call. He goes out and spots him in front of their house. He tells him he should not visit their house and takes him away to a restaurant. Sachi sees Kijin leaving with Mr. Kim. Sachi tells Kijin that Mr. Kim, there we have a cut of the scene. Kijin later meets Mr. Kim at the hospital and gives him thousand dollars. And Mr. Kim gets angry and asks if he's teasing him. Kijin tells him that he will give him one lakh dollars the next day and he leaves. Kijin follows him and sees him going inside a room and calls Sachi and tells him what nonsense Sachi told him. But then, he sees Mr. Kim slyly sneaking out and follows him. He gets into the washroom and gets changed. Kijin follows him and sees him at the gambling den. He confronts him and tells him that everything was a lie he told him till now and he just used Gwangte to extort money. He never wanted to meet Gwangte in the first place and tells him that what all money he gave him till now, he will treat that as a donation and tells him to get lost from their lives. As Kijin starts to leave, Mr. Kim tells him he will handle things by himself and starts to quiet Gung Thing. Kijin tries to stop him from calling her and a fight ensues. The call gets connected and uh, she speaks but Kijin manages to close Mr. Kim's mouth thus stopping him from talking to Gwang Te and spilling the beans about her birth secret. That's it with today's video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Until then, tata, bye bye, take care.